Hello, I'm sending a remind with the video to the YouTube link. Wait just a second. I get some musica going because I'm still finishing up some stuff, waiting for people to get in. My voice is different. Mira mi voz because I just woke up. <laughs> sleeping in on those school days. Sleeping in on those school days. I see there's cuatro personas watching. My voice is so off. Lo siento. Trece personas. Mira, chicos. Let me get some música while we're waiting to log in. Let's see here. Just finishing up some stuff. Vamos a escuchar música. Are you guys able to send me a message for the chat? This will allow you to ask me questions. If not, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and you can send me a message on Remind. I see that there's 29 people. All right. Okay. 30 personas. Excelente, excelente. Make sure you go get your laptop. You will need your laptop to participate in today's live stream. This is good for credito extra. And you're just going to be an amazing uh, Spanish student if you're able to do that. Do all of these things, okay? I'm giving you insights, and especially people from Ora Uno who do not get the benefit of having me in class. We're just waiting on people to get their laptops. Go ahead and go to join PD. Dot com, and I'm going to give you the link for the Peradec in just a moment. Thank you for your patience. Um, if you cannot participate in the chat, you can send me a message on Remind. Let me know if you have any questions. Is there anyone who has questions yet? If you do, go ahead and write it. I know I'm jamming y'all. No Choco Taco for those of you who asked. <laughs> Uh, it was delicious, but it was gone in two days because, you know, they only put four in a box. Marketing, that's crazy. Um, those of you who don't have a stylus, remember you can type because we are going to do this full on Pear Deck style. Um, if you want your parents to join, they can join. Anyone with a Google account can join this awesomeness that is La Clase de Español con Profe cuando no tenemos escuela. Let's see how many people we have in. We have 35 personas. Excellent. Let me look and check my reminds. Justin, how long is this lesson supposed to last? Okay, Justin. I have no idea. Less than 45 minutes. And Brooke, we're not able to see the video. It says restricted. Brooke, I'm guessing you and Ebony are not logged in with your school account. Log in with your school account, not your personal account. If you automatically went in, you're probably in your personal. Emma, swim practice today. It isn't going to be over soon. Is there a way I can watch after practice? I have no idea. You can check and see if the link works after practice. Um, the Pear Deck code will be loaded in just a moment. Emma, just be patient with me. Um, yeah, I woke up about cinco minutos ago and I was like, oh, snap, I got to do this video because you guys are important to me. It's never a day off, okay? Um, some of the things that we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about um, word order in Espanol when it's concerning questions, negativos, adjetivos, y objetos directos, when we're talking about the direct object pronouns. We're talking about the location of how you make these sentences and how you answer questions. This is very, very important because I've noticed as I looked at some of your guys' work that word, word, 
word order has been a hot mess, almost as bad as me trying to speak in English. Lord have mercy. Y'all thought I spoke in Spanish because I just wanted you to learn how to listen to Spanish, but English is a struggle sometimes. All right, we got about one minute of for these last people to get in. Go ahead, grab your food, take your bathroom break if you need to. All right, it is almost time for us to get it started. I'm gonna give out that code, about 10 segundos. Um, those of you who don't have a touchscreen laptop, so maybe your parents wanna help you get some more credito extra. Um, don't worry about it. I think you should be able to type on the type ones. The only ones that's going to be difficult are the ones where you use the draw function, but you can click the T in order to type. I'm at the end of this video, you will be able to ask me questions. I haven't had anyone tell me whether or not you're able to get in the chat. Um, 41 personas, ay Dios mío, you guys are all watching this video. This is crazy. That's like half of my students. This is insane. Oh my goodness. Okay, we will take a break right in the middle. It'll be like a two minute break. It's mostly for me because I think my dog has to use the restroom. And this is like really bad time. She's like up to no good because she's been sleeping because I've been sleeping. Um, yeah, she's fluent in Espanol. So let's go ahead and get this started because y'all like, I didn't tune in profe because you told me it's going to start at seven, but... As we enter Black History Month, you will start to learn a little bit more about what we call CPT. <laughs> I'm not going to even explain that. You can look it up on Urban Dictionary if you like. Here is the Pear Deck Code. Um, let's see here. Pear Deck, where are you at? Okay. So remember, you go to joinpd.com. If joinpd is not working, it is completely fine. Um, you can go to pairdeck.com to make it work and log in with your Google account, please. Those of you who are my estudiantes, you will get credito extra. Um, as you know, I have sneaky ways to give you that credito extra. My computer is a little slow, so it's still uploading um, this code. So it happens. Here we go. Um, the code is RJVQA. Oh my gosh, now all the, I just said the code. Someone said, can you say it again? I, I will say it again. <laughs> RJVQA. Shall I send it out on the remind? Let's just go ahead and send that out so I don't have to say that a bunch of times. The Pear Deck code. I've already forgotten it because I don't have the best memory, y'all. RJVQA. Went out on remind for those of y'all freaking out just a little bit that you might miss the whole entire thing, but it's completely fine. I was going to have the Pear Deck behind me on another laptop, but I was like, that's just too fancy. And it's my day off. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I cracked myself up. I'm crazy. I'm also going to get the... Um, the Facebook world on this. So give me just a second. Uh, feel free to invite your friends and other classes who might be struggling. I got a student that I tutor. I just lost like four people. This is what it's like to be a YouTuber. Some people just can't hang. They're like, profe, you taking too long. Um, Y'all normally would have been in class for an hour and a half. I'm just throwing that out there. So I don't know what you have to do. But I got some people swimming. So if you're swimming, it is okay. I forgive you, Emma. <laughs> um, all right, let's get this started. I turn my musica off. I can't focus. 
Gracias, Frank Reyes. Okay, so chicos, can everyone see the pera deck? Does anyone have issues? Going once, going twice. And me a reminder if you do have a problem. Am I supposed to be on pera deck right now? Yes, Alison. Who else? The code was sent out to everyone. So, oh, if you can't comment, thank you, Kiana. Go ahead and just send me uh, messages here if you need me to slow down. Okay, I'll try and periodically do a check. Okay, we're gonna keep going. No hay escuela, chicos. Bienvenidos. I'm so excited that you guys were able to tune in. As you know, this I just came as I am. I got my perrito right here. She looks hyped mad. That's because she hates it when I'm on my laptop. Um, hopefully you can see me. This. All right. Is that better? That doesn't feel better. All right. Now I feel like it's really dark, but it's fine. Um, so, gracias por venir a la clase de español. You should have a new tab open with Peradic. Um, the code, once again, is RJVQA. Okay. So, vamos a continuar. Um, hoy vamos a hablar de word order, el orden de las palabras en español. Esto es muy importante. We're going to talk about how to do the correct word order with questions, with sentences that have no in them, with adjectives about that word order. Um, does it go before or after the noun? And finally, we're talking about a new concept in la clase de español dos, and that is DOPs, direct object pronouns. If you have questions, please. Please, if you're one of my students in my Remind, you can ask me that question on Remind. Uh, if you are wondering about the video chat, I don't think you can use it. I lost it. I clicked something and now it's gone. And it happens because, you know, profane computers, sometimes we just don't get along. Vamos a continuar con preguntas. I do have a little notepad here that I'm going to use to try and show you anything that's not already on my PowerPoint, because as you know, most times I can't add things live to the PowerPoint. I can do new questions and things like that. Um, those of you who have logged in and have the Pear Deck, what's really awesome is that automatically all this in information will be saved into your Google Drive because you logged in with Google. So at the end of the session, I will send you the takeaways. And if you go to recent, in your Google Drive, you will be able to find all of this PowerPoint. Hopefully it's good. Um, first thing that I want to talk about questions in Espanol. If it is a yes or no question, therefore you're going to answer the question with si o no, and then your complete sentence, you will not find any question words. An example of this is dices la verdad. If you don't remember what dices is, I'm going to keep writing as though this is my board. Dices comes from the word decir, which is a stem changer, which means to say or to tell. And in this case, the sentence means to tell the truth. So do you tell the truth? I hope you can see this. Takes a second to write everything. Do you tell the truth? Can we see this? Let me pull this up. Yes, do you tell the truth? I should move this light down. Do you tell the truth. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. So um, if I wanted to answer that question, I looked that there's no question word. It starts with a variable. And because there's no question word, I know I'm going to say either C or no. So I'm going to give you both examples on how to respond to this question. C, try and do it on your own. All right, so you have two options. Is this backwards? I hope it's not backwards. It's backwards in my camera. This will be really bad if everything's backwards. Someone send that to me on Remind. <laughs> Is it backwards? Okay, anyway, so you have two options. See, and when you conjugate decir for yo, it changes to digo, okay? See, digo la verdad. If you want to say no, you have to answer the question, yes or no. So you say no, 
And to say, I do not tell the truth, that second no is standing for not. No digo la verdad. So you got dos opciones. Has anyone messaged me? Oh, wait, it's not backwards. Thanks, Jamie's son. Um, so it is either going to be si digo la verdad or no, no digo la verdad. That first no is to answer the question. The second no is to say not. Notice that it's a go verb, so it's irregular in yo. Is there anyone who needs me to write the conjugations of this year so that you can have those for your notes? I've already written them, so if you said no, it is too late. Remember, they stem change from E to I in the boot, like this. Okay. Digo, dices, dice, decimos, decís, dicen. Okay. Vamos a continuar con el siguiente. Let's run through those question words as we talk about how to answer questions with question words. So my students, I always show them motions. So we have que, repitan que, quien, repitan quien, cuando, repitan cuando. Remember that looks like a clock, so when, cuando. Donde? Repitan, donde? Remember when you use a donde if you're talking about ir, like a donde vas? To where are you going? Por qué? Repitan, por qué? Additional question words we have como, which is how and sometimes what, cuánto, how much. Cuantos, cuantas, how many? Remember, it can change depending on the adjective. So, cuantos estudiantes hay? Cuantas chicas hay? Cual? When you have an option, this is which. Sometimes it's what for us. For example, when we say, what's your favorite color? In Espanol, you'll say, cuál es tu color favorito? Which is your favorite color? Because there's a lot of color options. Which one do you like? Cual? Muy bien. All right. So when you have a question word in this sentence, you know it is not a yes or no question. So you do need to know your palabras de interrogación, question words. What is the question word in this question? ¿Cuánto dices la verdad? If you said cuando, I feel like this is Dora the Explorer. Esta es una locura, la tecnología. Okay. Cuando is the question word. Think about what that question word means. If you thought when, that means you have to come up with a time frame. So there's a few words that you can use for a time frame. But remember, we always respond in complete sentences. Okay. So we have siempre, which means always, nunca, which means never, and we have a veces, which means sometimes. Siempre, nunca, a veces. Remember, dices, when you conjugate it for yo, digo, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know about your character, but I know if you're my student, you're probably pretty baller. So we'll just assume that you always tell the truth. Siempre digo la verdad. Excuse my Dominican accent. Sometimes it comes out. Siempre digo la verdad. There we go. If I have any of my amigos mexicanos watching like, profe, you teach all your students to drop some letters. It's okay. Que lo que, que lo que pasa contigo. Vamos a seguir. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. This is Peradek. Those of you who are just tuning in, you have to go to joinpd.com or peradek.com and log in with your Google. The Peradek code is RJVQ. 
Q-A, R-J-V, Q-A. Answer the question in a complete sentence. ¿Haces ejercicio todos los días? As you're working on this, you're checking to see if there's a question word or not. I'm going to go ahead. I learned how to set a timer, y'all. Sorry. Maybe I didn't. Okay. You got 30 seconds. Well, I do this and send a message. Student. With the link. Give me a bush. Get out of there. She's got a mad at me. Ooh. Yeah, ocho segundos. Sending this to one of my students. Link. Oh, and where's the buzzer? This timer is wah wah. Okay. So, haces ejercicio todos los días? If you notice, there's no question word. So, that is a yes or no question. So, I don't. I used to when I was training for that marathon, but right now, the struggle is real. And so I'm going to say, no. Am I going to say it una vez or dos veces? Dos veces. No, no. That's how long it takes to write sometimes. All right, so if you look at my sentence, let me pull up that YouTube so I can see if we're on the screen. It says, no, no blank ejercicio todos los días porque soy floja. How do you conjugate hacer for yo? That is a go verb. It's not aco. It is hago con una g. No, no hago ejercicio todos los días porque soy perezosa. Students, notice that I expanded on the reason why. It is part of Latino culture to respond to questions in a complete way. You're not just trying to get the minimum and say like, see, sí, no, because I'm trying to teach you cultural things as well. So just make sure you answer that question with a por qué in it. Vamos a continuar. Answer the question in complete sentence. ¿Con qué frecuencia haces ejercicio? Notice I give you a note that con qué frecuencia is how often. You got 30 segundos. So I'll send this message. Maybe I should invite Spanish teachers into this. Got 10 segundos. All right. Let's see if there's any questions on Remind for just a second. Oh, Sofia, Rene, thank you for letting me know it's not backwards. You the best. Okay. Um, I think I have everyone's questions. If you have any other periodic questions, Y eres mi estudiante, you can uh, go into Remind and send me a personal message. I'm doing my best to answer them. If I don't answer it the first time, ooh, slide is locked. Did I unlock it though? Hope so. It locks after the timer goes up. Alison. Um, I love it. Somebody sent me a screenshot of what I did on the video. Excelente, excelente. All right, let's keep going. If I don't answer your question, just type it again. Um, if you're needing more time to complete the question, thank you for letting me know. I will try on the next time to give you more time to complete the question. I need more time. I have, I've been trying to send this message to a student how to get in and I haven't been able to do it. So that's fine. Con que frecuencia or how often haces ejercicio? Okay. So notice that there is a question word. It's hidden in there in between other words. That question word, let's save paper, is que. So we know we're not going to answer C or no. So I'm going to start with a word. Mm, I'm going to start with my verbo. 
which I know in yo is hago ejercicio. And now I'm gonna say once in a while, this is a new phrase, de vez en cuando. This word means once in a while. Let's see if it's on here. Hago ejercicio de vez en cuando. But what did I tell you to add at the end of a sentence? A porque, which is why, gracias, Tamara, it's important to get more time so you can add that porque. So I'm going to add porque soy muy ocupada. If you can remember that vocabulario, because I'm a very, I'm a very busy person because I'm describing using soy. If I wanted to say ahora, no hago mucho ejercicio porque estoy ocupada. I've made it clear that I'm temporarily busy, that that's a condition. It's not my normal state of being. Being, I am typically a busy person, even though I'm over here doing this be day because I love y'all, okay? Okay, plus I'd be working right now anyway. Let me look at some of those respuestas of those locked responses. I'm seeing a lot of people are leaving out verbs. There it is, hago ejercicio. Now you put in el lunes, it's el lunes, n will not be in there, okay? Um, I have a lot of people who did a yes or no, don't do that because it, it has a question word. Okay, some of y'all are putting no in a very interesting place. Um, if you use siempre or nunca or anything like that, I got just an aveses, I'm hoping you just didn't finish. Um, some people are just getting started, so you're gonna wanna jump in, but I will start giving un minuto. I'm sorry about that time constraint. All right, side note. If you do want to add a subject and a question, it goes después del verbo, después del verbo. So if I wanted to say, do you do exercise? I'm actually going to write asis. And if I want to put that subject, which is optional, it will go after my verbo. So it'll look like asis tu. Oh, I spelled this wrong. Mm -hmm. Asis tu ejercicio. That's where two would go. Okay. I got 40 personas. So we move back up, but down, up and down. Oh, we're at 38. I hope your internet is just going in and out, people. I'm hoping your internet is just going in and out. All right. Before we go into adjetivos, go ahead. If you have any questions about preguntas to ask me. All right, I'm gonna wait for some time. Sending this code out to some people who still didn't get it. Let's see here. Um, YouTube is lagging. Oh, the timer's going out quickly, so I will start giving longer time for the timer. When you have a question without a question word, you would put a yes or no in any part of the sentence? No, you have to answer yes or no first, and then you do your verb. This is just like English. Oh, okay, so I'm thinking that timer is ending pretty quickly because there's a lag in the YouTube video, like when you guys hear it. So I'm gonna try and do un minuto or tres minutos if necessary. I'm just trying to get through as much as I can before people have to go. Some people have all the time in the world. So what I'll do is I'll try and hang around at the end of this video for a little bit longer. If you have any questions, screenshot or whatever, um, some of those questions and make sure your answer is okay. Now, when you have nunca or siempre, this is a great question, Adam. You should put it at the beginning, but you can also um, put it at the end. So for example, if you want to say, I always tell the truth. Siempre digo la verdad, or digo la verdad, siempre. Okay, it went before the phrase, 
or after the phrase. It's not about where the verb is. So you would never say, um, digo siempre la verdad. It just feels kind of weird, kind of caveman like, okay? Vamos a continuar. Thank you for those questions. Adjetivos. Los adjetivos van después del, ooh, typo. Sorry, y'all. Del sustantivo, okay? For example, if you say we are going to go to a good school, the way you say it in Spanish is we are going to go to a school good. Vamos a ir a una escuela buena. All right. So let me see if I have examples of this. I did. So I must have left it out. So I want you to do a sample question. Let's see if I can do this. Um, new interactive question. I'm going to have you type it. Short text, long text. All right. So the question that I want you to answer, let's see if I can come up with the one that I had written, is, como se dice, are they taking an interesting class? Are they taking an interesting class. Notice that I have you working with, I need you to one, do your present progressive, which is remember, estar conjugated plus ando or yendo. Two, it is a question. So your subject will go after your verb. And then three, remember what we just talked about, your adjective goes after noun. Now, key fact, you will never break up estar and andoriendo. So good luck, we'll see how you do. This was the question. You got un minuto. You got about 10 segundos. If, if you need más tiempo, go ahead and send me a message. As soon as I get a message, the rest of you don't have to send me one as well. My dog is snoring right now. She's trying to sleep, but I'm too loud. Timer's about to be out. All right, let's see some of these responses. Okay. Okay, I do see a good one. Now, a lot of you just missed out an interesting class. If you wrote, Están tomando, let me find it. Están tomando una clase interesante. Well done. If you wanted to throw in ellos, están tomando ellos una clase interesante is fine. But I wouldn't add the subject. It sounds crazy. Están tomando cannot be broken up by ellos. Now, I want you to take that question and turn it into a statement. Take this question and turn it into a statement now. 
Go ahead and delete whatever you have. Actually, should I do a new question? Let's do a new question. All right, take this question. Instead of saying, are they taking an interesting class? You are now gonna say, they are taking it. They are not taking an interesting class. Let's do that one more time. They are not taking an interesting class. Here's that sentence, aquí está. They are not, let's put it right here. I happen to pop this, my dog, ignore her. Give me about 15 seconds more. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. So they are not, you're just translating, it's not a sentence. Remember, you cannot break up. Estar plus you're under yendo. So you should start with no están tomando una clase interesante. No one would say that if they were in the clase de español, verdad? <laughs> no, this tutorial is not as high as you would like for it to be, but we do what we can, right? We do what we can. All right, so now it's no están tomando una clase interesante. All right, so now I've realized I should pause before switching and talking about a slide because of the lag. I'm going to try that and see what happens. Siguiente. Ahora, vamos a hablar de los objetos directos, pero los pronombres. Those are direct object pronouns. A pronoun is something that normally replaces the word that was there. So when we talk about subject pronouns or sujetos, we are talking about, instead of saying, uh, Kiana dances, Kiana sings, Kiana does her homework, right? We can take Kiana and replace it with she. That would be a subject pronoun. We're talking about direct object pronouns. Instead of saying, I do the homework, they do the homework, we do the homework, the homework is easy, et cetera. Um, we can take homework in some cases when it's not necessarily a subject, but it's the direct object and we can replace it with it. I do it, okay? Referring to the homework. Now be careful because if you start a sentence with it as the subject, not necessarily the direct object, you are not going to replace that with lo or la. So I never want to see the sentence that says lo es in order to say, or lo es fácil, to say it is easy. Remember, just to say it is, the word is es. Write that down somewhere. In order to say it is, the word is just es. Or in some cases, está, because you know we have ser y estar that both mean to be. Go ahead and use your drawing function. I want you to find the subject, verb, and direct object of the following sentences. They do homework and I bring the dogs. If you don't have the drawing fu function, you can do the T for typing and you can type it. I'm gonna give you tres minutos on this one. Let's see if I have any preguntas.
I'm gonna send this to other Spanish teachers and see if they wanna tune in too. I'm sending this message to all your teachers, including Ms. Jones, who's my buddy next door. <laughs> You got about just under un minuto. If you finished, go ahead. You can work ahead by finding the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the direct object pronoun that you would use to replace your direct object. I'm gonna write these sentences down as the time's wrapping up. Get about 10 segundos más. Finishing up. Screen lock at the end of this timer. All right. And, and I don't know what's up with the timer. It's like so weird. Okay, let's go. All right, so they do the homework. These are these two sentences, Aki. They do the homework and I bring the dogs. So if you're looking for your verb, I'm gonna put a box around the verb. These are my verbos. All right, I'm going to circle my subjects. Subjects. And now I'm going to underline my DOPs, my DOs, my direct objects. Technically, that is an article. And sometimes we put them in English and sometimes we don't, but oftentimes when we don't put them in English, we still put them in Espanol. I think I had my next slide is to translate these. So we're not gonna jump ahead yet. All right. So DOPs, más información. Remember the purpose of the direct object pronoun is to replace the direct object. And normally translate typo translates to me, you, it, and or them. Okay, so in the ejemplo, it says they do it and it's referring to the homework. The way that you would do it, <laughs> see what I did there, <laughs> is you would translate they to ellos. And then knowing that we're talking about the homework, la tarea, you look at that and realize it's feminine and singular and it's talking about something else. So it's going to be la for it. And you put that in front of your conjugated verbal in front of your conjugated verbo. If you wanted to leave out ellos, that's fine. And it would just be la hacen, la hacen. All right, go ahead and do this on your own. Como se dice, I bring them referring to the dogs. I'm gonna set that timer for tres minutos. That's what, can I do un minuto? I'm gonna wait. Un minuto. This is a lot of time, mucho tiempo. See if there's any preguntas. Mm. 
Oh my gosh, I'm getting all your guys' remind messages. <laughs> How do I make it stop? All right, how's that timer looking? <laughs> it's been done? Cool. Um, all right, let's see some of your answers. Now, um, I'm gonna unlock the screen real quick. Think about it. When we talk in Spanish, it goes subject, then DOP, then your conjugated verb, conjugated verb. So I'm gonna unlock for 30 seconds for those of you who did it in the wrong order. Looking at the video, I put the formula on here. Oops. Where is it? I can't believe it's almost been an hour. Justin, I'm so sorry if you're still here. It's gonna it's gonna go another 13 minutes. And I'm gonna try and end. Okay, much better. Some of y'all are conjugating um, traer incorrectly because it says I, and some of you are conjugating it for they. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I will write the correct answer. I'm going to start with yo for my subject. The dogs, D-O-P. What is going to be los perros? So it's just los. I bring, traer is to bring. I know that it's irregular because traigo should be wrong, should feel wrong, or I don't even know what it'd be. It'd be trao, which you just don't do that. So T-R-T-R-A-I-G-O, yo los traigo. Yo los traigo. Those of you who saw them and all she say, what's my action? Okay, who's doing the action? And then you're gonna take that verb and conjugate it for who's doing the action. And then you're gonna say, who is the action being done to or who receives the action? And that's your direct object. Some of you on your trabajo, you were going through and you were putting in la tarea and it craziness. This is a pronoun. It replaces it. It's like if you were to say, um, Abby, she goes to the store. No, you would say Abby goes to the store or she goes to the store. So you would never say, I have it, the homework. You either say, I have it or I have the homework. You cannot do both. Okay. Vamos a continuar con esto. Let me check for any preguntas. So far, I don't, oh, wait. You do not have to put yo, so you could have just said los traigo and been fine. Tamara, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but we're going to keep going. <laughs> Negativos. No goes before. Okay, your conjugated verb. No before your DOP. Oh gosh, typos are real. No goes before your DOP and then your conjugated verb. I'm going to write that down so you guys can write it down. Let's see here. That first bullet, it goes no, then your DOP, if there is one, and then your conjugated verb. If you have two verbs, it goes no, then your DOP, then your conjugated verb, then your infinitive, or you can take your DOP and attach it 
to your infinitive. Remember, an infinitive is an unconjugated verb. Here you go. That first line is the struggle bus. That's that snow day talk. No, then DOP, then your conjugated verb. Those of you just looking at Peradek, I'm showing you on this YouTube. La pantalla. Okay. Some of the internet pipes are frozen because I see people coming in and out. And compound verb phrases never split the phrase with no. So if you want to say, I'm going to dance, that's ir a plus infinitive. So you would not say, voy no er. If you didn't say, I'm not going to dance. If you wanted to say, I'm not going to dance, you would never say, voy no a bailar. No voy a bailar because you have to maintain the compound phrase. So let's look at, I am not dancing it, and you're referring to la salsa. Okay. Um, no must go at the beginning. No, la estoy bailando. I'm not dancing it, referring to la salsa. Or you can say, no estoy bailando la. This is that accent rule. If we took that tilde away, it would be pronounced bailando la, which is muy, muy raro. It needs to be bailando la. The most important part is you started with the no. If you wanted to put yo in there, you would do your subject before the no. Yo no la estoy bailando. Yo no estoy bailando la. All right. So this one, I don't think, did I do a type thing on here? Um, Como se dice, you do not see me. You do not see me. So I did not make this, let's see, I think I can make it interactive. Re ask the same question, new, new question type with the current content. This is so cool. Okay, there you go. You do not see me. Screen's gonna lock in one minute. You do not see me. Um, you can do the subject if you want or not. Just remember that order goes subject, then the no, then the DOP, then the verb. Can't believe we still have 39 personas. I know y'all are like, I'm holding out to doce prove. I think we're almost done. I think. Let's see here. Yeah, we got two slides left. Push through. Or one of one slide left and then the questions. Actually, this is the second to last slide. This is the last slide before questions. We're good. All right. Diez segundos or less, because it's gonna be lagging. I have single personas that have not started their responses, so I'm guessing you kept the pair deck open, but you're no longer in the video. All right, locked screens. Some of the responses I'm seeing is, tu no verme, I see no me ves, tu no me ves, tu no la ves, tu no me ves, tu no me ves, tu no tu ves me. Check with the formula. Tu no me ves, tu me estas ves, tu ves me, tu no me ves, no yo ves, tu no me ves, tu no ves yo, I don't know, where's the yo, is, are you trying to do that for me? Remember the direct object pronoun for me is me, just like with gustar, which is an indirect object pronoun. So your options are this, go ahead and look at the video. If you want to say you don't see me, tu no me ves or just no me ves? Tu no me ves or no me ves? Because we have three minutes before I'm going to start questions. I'm going to take this and I want to write, you cannot see me. 
using poder. You cannot see me using poder. You can't see me, soccer players, you know. You can't see me. So I'm going to write that down. You cannot see me. I'm going to do that on this one. So we're going to do a new question. Go ahead and write, you cannot see me. Remember, cannot is poder, which is a stem changer, O to U E. There's two ways to write it. I'll give you a minute más. How do I cover up the answer here while I show? If you want to check the structure, I have it up on your video de YouTube. You cannot see me. Notice the subject. Notice the first conjugated verb with a no in it. Notice the infinitivo and the direct object pronoun. If you're thinking about word order, it goes subject, no, DOP, Conjugated verb, infinitive. You need to see that. I'm sure that minute's up. Sorry, all my timing is real bad. Can you see that? There's a shadow, isn't it? It's fine. All right, let's go ahead and look at some of the things you guys wrote. Hey, numero uno, you got it right. Numero dos, you're putting low. It's not in there, so north the low. Let me unlock as I talk. Nice job. Oh, I got both of those options. Okay, okay. I noticed you conjugated ver and poder. You can only conjugate one, it's gonna be the first one. And also you went and put C in front of cannot, so you don't wanna do that. Okay, a lot of you are getting this right. Now, when you want, no, no, you're racing and you have a space between ver and me, it's just one word, so ver me. I'm gonna go ahead and put the answer up. Let's say you cannot see me. Tu no me puedes ver o tu no puedes ver me. We need to take a picture of this. I'm only gonna hold it up for a few seconds. Tu no me puedes ver, o tu no puedes verme. And you don't have to say tu, it's optional. So you can say no me puedes ver, o no puedes verme. You can't see me. All right, we're in one minute past, un minuto después. So ahora vamos a las preguntas. Gracias por escuchar. Si tienen preguntas, you can write this directly into the pera deck now. Any questions, you do not have to send them by remind. You can write them directly into the periodic. All right, you can write it directly into the periodic. Oh, someone's giving positive feedback. You're awesome. Appreciate you.
Okay. Okay, that last question, only conjugate one adjective. Remember, we only conjugate verbs. If I said adjective, I'm so sorry. So when you have two verbs in a sentence, you only conjugate the first one. So you cannot see me. The way that you know it's conjugated is because conjugated just means a verb that goes with the subject. You cannot see me is different than you don't see me. If I said you don't see me, no me puedes ver, or no me ves, you don't see me. You cannot see me. That means you don't have the ability to. No puedes verme. That's for that last question. The reason why you put it together is that's the rule. So a lot of you want to say ver, space, me. If you're attaching it to the uh, infinitive, then you have to make it one word. Verme. That's just the rule that you would need to memorize. Um, if you want to take me and put it in front of the conjugated verb, then it's separate words. Think about it. Like, that's how it sounds, too. Um, no puedes verme. You don't say no puedes verme. <laughs> that should sound weird, so they put it together. That's my rule. I think it's pretty much a, a grammar thing. I don't know really the reason. No preguntas. Awesome. Can we still meet a one on one. Uh, let me see who you are who just asked for a one on one. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna come back. Let's see. Oh, yes. Can we still? Okay. Um, before you leave, because I see people are popping out, can you go ahead and go ahead and give me a rating on how this video helped, whether it helped or not? So please do that. Um, if you could give me a letter grade on how this vid video helped. <laughs> you could give me a letter grade on how this video helped. Go ahead. Give me an A, B, C, or D. I'm going to set this timer, and then I'll go back to those questions. A, B, C, or D on this video so I can know whether or not to do this again on a snow day. Apparently the video feed was dos minutos behind. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Didn't know that, should have done all these questions for three minutes, but I saw responses. So I think it depends on some people's Wi-Fi. That's good to keep in mind. Not all Wi-Fi was created equal. All right, so let's see how we did. So I got a lot of people gave me an A, B. I got a few Cs, that's fine. I'm guessing the Ds left or maybe those were A's too. Um, you know, I aim for A's, so please let me know as we go back to questions on how this video can be better. I do not want to waste your time. So I'm going to go back. Um, I'm reading through some of the responses. I'm going to try to answer all of them. If you got to go, that's fine. Um, I recommend keeping your pera deck open. Esto es muy importante um, because if you do not keep it open, you might not get the takeaways. I'm titling it so I can start saving it. All right. Oh, that's a good point. So somebody gave the suggestion that I do a video like this and like give it to students um, that can go through it at their own pace. So my question is, do you like this video better than the videos that we've been watching at the beginning of a lesson? Um, I could try and do one of these per like difficult concept as well. It does take a little bit more time, but I can try. You guys are worth it. Let's see. Okay. Order of words and sentences still confuses me. Um, so we're, if you're still struggling with word order, you should have written down the ones that say um, kind of the formula. 
So for the people who are still struggling with word order, I need you to get this somewhere in your notes. Subject, then no, then your DOP, then your conjugated verb, and then your infinitive. If you don't have want to write your subject, that's fine. Drop it. If you don't have a no, drop it. If I'm not having you say it or them, or there's not a direct object pronoun, that you, a direct object that you can replace with a pronoun, drop it. If you only have one verb, drop the infinitive. This infinitive is also interchangeable with the ando or yendo, which is a gerund. So if you have, they are not dancing it, talking about la cumbia, ellos no la están bailando. That's option one. Option two is to take this DOP and attach it. Ellos no están bailando la. And then you put your two thing. You don't even talk about the accents. That's like a whole nother chunk of mess. Okay? It's crazy. Let me see if there's más preguntas. When writing it, do you completely drop the direct object? Yes. If you are writing it, drop the direct object. You only write the subject, DOP, and then the correct, the conjugated verb. Yes. 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 When putting the two together, can you explain the tilde rule? Well, I could. Should I do this now? Hmm. Okay, so let me think, <laughs> should I explain this? So the only time that you're really gonna start doing the tilde stuff is if you have, um, I guess for us, what we've learned is if you're doing present progressive, the ando or yendo. And essentially, if you decide to take your DOP and add it to the end, you count back three syllables. So if I want to say, we are singing, estamos cantando. And let's say we're referring to the song, la canción. So would that be lower la for la canción? It'd be la. So if you want to say, we are singing it, Go back to the video. Estamos cantándola. If you write it just like this, it's canto, wait, cantándola. So you have to count back three. It's essentially the A that you change, the AR that you dropped to become ando is what you're going to put the TLA on. That's how I learned it. Estamos cantándola. Like that. That's the only TLA rule you know right now. When we get a direct object pronoun and an indirect, it's a whole nother ball game, and I'm so sorry in advance. Thanks for the positive feedback, chicos. All right, I noticed some people had to fast forward to catch up with the live stream, so some people were behind. You can go back and watch it. I do think it'll save. What is the order of the other way to write it with? Oh, I'm going to need that question reworded. What is the order of the other way to write it with two verbs? Oh, like if you want to attach your DOP. So I'm going to write or take that DOP and attach it. I got a yes. I think that Y was going to be a yes. So this is your uh, normal formula. Subject, no. Or you can do subject, no, conjugated verb, infinitive with your DOP at the end. You can only attach your, your DOP to the end instead if you have dos verbos. And you can only attach it to a conjugate or to an infinitive. You cannot attach, oh, these are, you cannot attach them to, an, to a conjugated verb. Hopefully I answered your question. Yeah, so um, let's see who asked that question. In reference to, mm -hmm. 
Tamara, I thought that was you. Um, what you're learning is the me, te, lo, la, nos, os, los, las. Those are all direct object pronouns that mean me, you, it, our, or sorry, us, y'all, and them when they're the direct object pronouns. This is what we did in class, yes. Will I be going over this in class tomorrow? Kind of. Mañana es jueves. You have your prueba el viernes, but it won't be to the extent of this video, which is why. Um, Colman, I wish I saw that earlier. So I was told you to refresh your page every once in a while. Not be as behind. You like my perrita. Gracias, Eva. Um, I thought it'd be ended up. So, Brooke, you're asking questions about word order with adjetivos. So essentially, you just need to memorize the adjectives go after your noun. So get out of English mode. It's not black cat, it's cat black. Um, when do we know to use estoy after the DOP or use ser in front of the DOP? If you're confused with ser versus estar, I recommend going in your cuader, no, your vista, uh, descubre, clever, all of us, all Spanish teachers call it different. I call it clever. Go to clever and um, go to your libro and do some practice ser versus estar. Remember when you were doing like um, present progressive, I am dancing. That is something that you're doing right now. It's always estar conjugated. The DOP will not separate estar plus your ando yendo. So you will never say estoy lo bailando. You would say lo estoy bailando or estoy bailándolo. Um, I bring the dogs. It was yo los traigo. Um, I am not dancing. It was no la estoy bailando. Yes, that is right. So your question seems to be, where does your no go? If there is one, it goes before your direct object pronoun. Your direct object pronoun always goes before your conjugated verb. So if you look at no la estoy bailando, notice that la was before estoy, which was your conjugated verb. So it didn't change. Oh, more random examples at the end. You're right. I just wrote this script. So what's on the quiz tomorrow? Nothing, because there's no prueba mañana. It's on viernes. Gracias, Skyler. Um, um, so if I just say class, I'm not. So this question was, when do you know to use a star? How you feel, where you are, always use the verb estar. Also, you use it for present progressive things that you're doing right now. Um, I think you have in your notes all the times to use this stuff. Okay. Um, with adjectives, how do you know when to put de? So um, if you wanted to say Spanish class, that's because you're saying the class of Spanish. If you wanted to say an interesting class, that's just an adjective to describe the class. Spanish class. Spanish is not functioning as an adjective, it's a subject. So when you were in the school subjects lesson, you should see that it's a, that in order to talk about subjects, you say clase de química, la clase de español, la clase de literatura. If you were just saying class in general and you were describing it, you follow the noun and then follow put your adjectives after the noun. Oh, there was an, another A. Thank you for that A that didn't go into the grade. Um, gracias, Shantis, for your feedback about this video versus Clever. Uh, Sara, you can close the periodic if you want, I think. Well, I don't know. Let me go ahead. I'm going to end this session. Thank you, everyone, for your feedback. Um, this was for the rating. If you did not get to rate or if you wanted to change your rating after staying for the preguntas and they were helpful and such. I got 14 people who didn't respond, so that would be awesome. All right. Got a few people going back and forth. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead. Hopefully the Bs and Cs are not because of the content, but really because of the stupid video lag that I need to figure out how to figure that out. <laughs> um, what I'll probably do next time is I'll just on average, I'll just give tres minutos. And if you guys have other things to do, you can do those things once you finish your question. That'll make it a little bit easier.
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Gracias por todo, les aprecio mucho. I'm pressing end. I'm gonna pu publish student takeaways. Creates a Google Doc for each student that was in the Peradec. And then you'll be able to go to recent. Gracias chicos por todo. I'll go ahead and fix all my typos just in case. All right, cuídense, adios, un beso. For those of you who are finishing, Pimienta, you want to come sing, right? The video is already in the way back. So see, there's been two those. I just thought that was looking at my craziness. Pimienta, this is Pimienta. She's kind of lazy. She's really excited I'm home. Quieres decir hola? Quieres un dulce? Does anybody want to see her tricks? I still see there's been those personas watching this craziness. Okay. Let's see. For these venti those personas who are crazy and have nothing to do on a snow day, why didn't they? Okay, pimienta. Habla. Habla. She's trying to bark, but she's too hungry for this trick. Habla. Oh my goodness. This is live, pimienta. Bájate. Bájate. Okay, can you see? Pimienta, habla. Muy bien. Woo! Gonna take a second, she's gotta eat it. Now I got Betty Uno for the summer. Okay. <laughs> Arriba. Baila. Pimienta, baila. Baila, baila, baila. Baila, baila, baila. <laughs> kind of her dancing. Okay. okay. All right, let's see. Should we have should we have you shake? See? Bajate. Siento bien. Saludo. Mucho gusto. Muy bien. All right, we're at Bang Bang. Okay, we're losing. Okay, we're losing people. And I buy. Oh. It's going. No. Muy bien. Okay, she goes. I'm leaving now. I'm crazy. Adios.